Hey guys, it's Lucas. Now I'm in my greenhouse today and I had a big scare yesterday morning. I woke up, I look out my bathroom window and I said, oh no, the greenhouse, it's gone. We had some strong winds and it blew away across my yard and man, I'm lucky it didn't end up in my neighbor's pool or up against his house or something uh, cause I think it could have did some damage, but. So I had to get serious and uh, I had to really stake down the frame of this greenhouse so that I won't encounter any problems like that again. Let me show you what I did here. So I took some of these T posts right here, jammed them in the ground as hard as I could and with my T post driver, I'll leave links to the products that I use in the description. And then I just zip tied it to the frame real tight right here. I got one T post there, got another one there, got another one over there. You know, the thing is, is this area where my greenhouse is has such thick wood chips right now because uh, this area wasn't leveled. So, you know, it's like four or five inches of wood chips. It's hard to drive some of these stakes into the ground to hold down the frame. Like these guys over here, there's only a couple inches of wood chips over here. So these guys work pretty well. And I probably have like about 20 of these all over the frame. But on this side of the of the greenhouse, you know, there's like probably like five inches of chips and some stones to level it out. Um, so I had to go with the T posts over here. And then on the outside, you know, I'm just weighing it down with whatever I can right now. Some, I got some wood and some stones and I'm just gonna keep weighing it down with as much as I can, but figured I'd share that with you guys. I didn't take any pictures of the greenhouse when it was on the other side of the yard. Yeah, I was up against those two trees over there and right over there is my neighbor's pool. And man, if it flew in there and messed up his uh, lining in the pool, that could have been an expensive uh, insurance claim right there. So. so yeah, just figured I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you get one of these greenhouses, you gotta be serious about getting some stakes in the ground and really tying it down because getting blown over by the wind. Man, if they go into somebody's car, go into somebody's house or pool, it could be some major damage. So don't mess around. I thought I had it weighed down with stones and I had some wood chips on it, some bags of bags of mulch like some heavy stuff but man we got some like 60 mile an hour winds or something like that and this thing went for a ride so not gonna happen again what i did right now i think is enough but i'm gonna keep doing more because i'm that was a scare and i'm not gonna let that happen again but anyway can't wait to share with you guys when i start growing i'm gonna start putting my seedlings in here i'm gonna start transferring them out here and it's awesome my first year having a greenhouse and uh and the garden's starting to look good. We're in May. Got my raspberries going crazy. My asparagus year two. And got some peas going. But yeah, we're going to be planting a lot of stuff over the next couple of weeks. And I'll keep you posted. So have a great day, guys. And stay healthy.